Hey everybody, it is me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television, and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those reality shows that we're doing is Jackson Brittany. Uh, they just aired their season finale. But before we get into that, I do want to say thank you so much to all the people who have reached out to me via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, to let me know, uh, to, to in inquire about if I'm okay or not after the horrific shooting last night uh, in Las Vegas. You know, I'm going to Japan today, and I came out here, I'm in Glendale right now, I came out here to California last night, so actually it was yesterday morning, but I still... Um, I would much rather sit in six and a half hours of traffic than, you know, be in all of that, that chaos. I mean, that is one person, one person took out more than, I mean, the deadliest shooting in United States history. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's bigger than Pulse nightclub. That is awful. What, I mean, like I was, I, last night I was so afraid about this plane because I was reading about this Air France jet that was flying from France and one of the engines blew up. And they were able to make a safe landing in Labrador, Canada. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I was like, oh my God, that, oh, what if that's me going to Japan? Who knows, right? Because, you know, I hate flying. I hate flying. I hate it. So, um, then this happens and it's like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, it's, so if any of you can donate any blood, I know that they're uh, in Las Vegas, they are definitely needing um, blood donors. So if you can donate blood, please do. Because um, that, that can be a small way that you can help these poor people. Okay, so having said that and having that gotten out of the way, let's talk about Jackson Brittany. Okay, so Jackson Brittany. Okay, so this was kind of weird because, you know, last week I didn't do a, a recap for this show. Um, I didn't oh because that's what that was I think it was because it was the week that Dancing for Relevancy started and uh you know I never missed that fucking show ever <laughs> so um yeah so in terms of there's two episodes I'm going to talk about the first one was the second to the last so you know the last last episode was all about you know Brittany's boyfriend showed up and Jack's you know was apparently what had happened what had happened was you know Jax got pissed drunk, even worse than he was before, and he was a little bit belligerent, and Brittany left him in town. She left him behind to go and to stay in a hotel <laughs> in Winchester, and, you know, so... It's real interesting because, you know, before the, these last, before I watched these last two episodes, I, you know, because I follow Jax on social media and, I, and you know, Jax was like, yeah, this is a fun little show. We're still together. And, I'm, you know, so I was thinking it was going to be all lighthearted and cute. The last two episodes of this limited series were kind of heavy and like, you know, it was very much like, I don't know what happened. Something must have happened. Like... Listen, if I had to go live on an island for two weeks, you know, provided that there was like food and water and stuff, but you know, I could, if I knew it was just for two weeks, I could do it, right? So he, he went to Kentucky for two weeks and he was like, he, he all, I mean, like all he kept talking about was like, I can't wait to go back home to LA. Oh God, this place is awful and so bored. And, you know, it, it was because he wasn't like that at the beginning. Now, granted, he probably wasn't that bored at the beginning. But, I mean, it sounded to me, to the viewer, it sounded a little like he was kind of resentful to her for having to be there. And it that didn't make any sense to me at all. At all. Zero. I mean, like, I mean, I don't, I don't get that. So, and she was, of course, getting really offended and hurt by it. And she's like, this is my home and whatever. Now, on, on, on his side, if I was him and she was like that, I'd be like, you know, I'm entitled to my opinion. You cannot like my hometown. That's fine. You cannot like Los Angeles. That's fine, too. You know, so we can go our separate ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they're both very invested in the relationship. So I don't think that will happen. But, um... 
it's very interesting because you know I, I I know this is gonna sound really really stupid and crazy but I think that this show has kind of proved that Jax is grown up ever so slightly ever so slightly from season one of Vanderpump Rules I mean like you don't see him going out with other girls or knocking up other girls or you know anything like that right so you know that's kind of cool right he's 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 he you don't see him really I mean he does have some issues with the truth but they're nowhere near as bad as they used to be in the past right now it's if he gets caught doing something he'll deny and then eventually he'll come clean but you know before he would lie about like everything so I mean it's it's nice to see this I mean there's still a lot of work to go like whenever he gets like in like a situation where he's like I don't want to I don't want to be here I don't want to do this he just starts drinking if you know that alcohol affects you in a negative way like that why would you do that like why why I don't get it right that doesn't make any sense um, and then afterwards they had, <clears throat> so they had that big old fight and they were, now, you know what I do love though? I love the relationship that Jax has with Brittany's mama. That's really sweet. It's really, really sweet. They really care about each other quite a bit. That's really cool. I think that's really great. Um, and even Britney's mom likes Jax quite a bit. And I'm not going to lie. That kind of surprised me, you know, because I know that, um, you know, there was some controversy last season of Vanderpump Rules when she came out and, you know, at Jax's roast, they made all these jokes about Jax being gay. And, and they also did lots of jokes about him doing drugs and him lying to people and, and stealing things. Oh, God, I forgot about that. He totally hasn't stolen anything in, in a while, too. So um, I think Brittany overall has been good for him. He still has a ways to go. But um, I think that, uh, you know, when the mom heard all these things, the one thing she took away from that was, what's this about you being a homosexual? Like... In my mind, that is like the least of all of those things that you should be worried about, right? You know, if I had a guy that, you know, was doing all kinds of drugs and lying to people and stealing things, you know, the last thing I would worry about is if he had a dick in his mouth. I'm just going to be honest with you, right? That would be the, the absolute last worry on my mind. But you can tell at the, on this last episode you can tell that she really does like Jax quite a bit so that's that is actually very cool that's super cool um in fact even Brittany was like you always take his side so I've never heard her take his side before but you know I mean and, and in all fairness Brittany kept and this could just be the way that they communicate with each other is very different. You know, Jax might be communicate one way and Brittany communicates a different way. And instead of trying to communicate the way your partner can understand you, they just want to make their point. And that just ends up irritating everyone. And that's on both of their parts, right? Because Brittany's the type that she doesn't like to have unresolved issues. So she's going to keep mentioning it and mentioning it and bringing it up and bringing it up. And he's going to be real the fuck over that real quick. Because he's the type that likes to cool off, take some time, get his thoughts together, and then he'll discuss the issue. Right? But she's So they're both being their own way, and they're not listening to what the other person is having to say. So, of course, it's huge conflict. So it's, but that's annoying. And it's so crazy because they were getting along so well for like the entire show, the entire series. And then these last two episodes, it was like, um, anyways, so they had this, um, ceremony for, uh, Brittany's papa and it was, here's another example of that, exactly what I was just talking about, about the two different communication styles, you know, Brittany was sort of offended that Jax wasn't all with the family, right? But Jax was like, this is a family thing, and I, I shouldn't be taking part in that. That would be kind of strange. I didn't know. 
he might have known Papa, but he's like, I, I you know, that's, that's kind of weird. I don't want to. So, again, it's just that neither one of them are wrong, but they should have just taken the time to understand where the other person's coming from and, you know, communicated just a little bit better. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, so it's a good series. It was cute. It, just like Jack said, it was really cute. It was fun. And I'm definitely looking forward to the actual Vanderpump Rules coming back, though. That'll be good, but that probably won't be for a while. But I'm definitely looking forward to that. Ooh, Amazing Race is starting soon, so I'm excited about that, too. Um, So I'm off to Japan. So thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton uh, and Snapchat because I'm going to be Snapchatting quite a bit this, um, this uh, trip. Uh, thank you so much. So anyways, um, you can also hit that subscribe button to, on the YouTube channel to get my YouTube video sent to your email inbox every single day. Also, um, you can hashtag Jackson Brittany if you want to discuss the finale of Jackson Brittany, or you can also hashtag bold and beautiful to talk about the bold and the beautiful. Okay. Thanks for logging on. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.